Oh man, this thing is dusty. Damn. Is it framed right? Oh, oh, it's working. Oh, hey, Eric, Eric, it's working. It's working. So someone on the Discord, you should join the Discord if you have it. Someone on the Discord accidentally left their mead out in the sun for a week and they were asking, uh, is my mead ruined? Does sunlight ruin mead? That's an interesting question. It really is. Technically, it's the hops in beer that skunks and skunk and skunlight. Sunlight? Skunlight? Sunlight. Sunlight. Hops, skunks, and sunlight. It's not the alcohol that the sun already acts to. Actually, I didn't even know that. Well, now you know. I never leave beer in the sunlight. <laughs> Don't ever, that's why you have like brown bottles for beer. Yeah. Because like UV light, it reacts with the, the hops and it skunks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to test that with one of my beers. We're gonna have to test that. We're, we're definitely gonna do that. <laughs> okay, so technically, sunlight shouldn't interfere with anything that doesn't have hops. But why not try it anyway? See, there's so, a difference. We're gonna be your guinea pigs. <laughs> so we put two bottles of mead in direct sunlight in my window. One was supposed to be there for a month and one was supposed to be there for a hey, week. Eric, why is the label so bleached? You said it only a month. Yeah, I kind of forgot about them and they sat there for six months or so. Oh my God, well, so, I yeah. guess it's a true test, right? <laughs> so these have been through the winter in direct sunlight and into the summer. And this one has not been left in the sunlight. It has all. not been left in the sunlight. So let's crack them open and uh You mean we'd have to drink meat? We'd have to drink meat yes. on our meat channel. <laughs> right. It smells different, doesn't it? it the smells sweetness the, is gone. It smells the same, but different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells a lot different. Does it? Yeah. Okay, the, sweet, the sweetness smells like it went away. Let's try the unsunny one first. Give it a five out of ten, maybe. Let's see about our one of the sun ones. I'm not sure which is which, but no, this is the one that's less resold. Oh yeah, because the labels one is bleached out. Mm -hmm. It definitely smells. It smells better. Is it, is it carved a little bit? No, it's just the sweetness is smells like it's gone. I don't smell as sweet. That is actually magnitudes better. Wow, I smoothed it out a lot. A lot, a lot. Like this one had, this one's got like a weird like after, aftertaste to it. That one has a harshness to it too, where this one doesn't. And it's lighter too. It feels lighter when you drink yeah. it. Yeah. Like, I can't believe it. It actually made a difference. It made a huge difference and like, it made it better. Wow. It did make it better. That's almost unbelievable. So, so, it, so it's a, like a five out of 10 and this one goes straight up, I'd say two points. I'd right? say a, a, at least two definitely points. Definitely seven out of 10, mm -hmm. definitely. The difference is profound. It's like, it, it the, the actual taste itself is similar, but it's lighter and it's less harsh. It's real smooth. Yeah, I know. It's super time. smooth. Super smooth. I can't believe it. I want to have a bunch of different systems. Oh, so. mm. I want to leave all my meat in the sunlight now. <laughs> I'm sure it affects 
You know what? That's another one we have to test. Will, this is a sweep, right? Will a more dry one that's what we change should, the effect? That's what we should have done. We should have done a dry one also. Mm -hmm. So it's called a detox. <laughs> I can't believe how different that is. How about the same? I mean, I mean from this one. Yeah, but these two are about the same. So it didn't matter the difference in the week. It didn't really make a difference, that, except for it bleached the bottle more. <laughs> yeah. That almost, that changed like almost every aspect of the meat and mm -hmm. made every aspect of it better. It the, the, the taste itself is very similar, almost the same, but like, these are much, much more mellow, smoother, easier to drink. At least with a sweet. At least with a sweet. Mm -hmm. And they're lighter too. It feels I can't even describe how describe how that feels. It's lost, yeah, it's just smooth. Like it's a yeah, there's no harshness to it at all. It just mellowed it out and made it really nice and smooth. My glasses dirty. It's not, it's also slightly carved in this one, so I don't know that. Well the weird thing is it actually changed the sediment at the bottom of it. It's like the sediment's yeah. fluffy, whereas this so, sediment's just a solid block. Yeah, it's not, it's not really fluffy. I wonder if he left a bottle there like for it's, years. This has got fizziness to it. Yeah, like I said, this, this one's slightly carbonated. I don't know how that works. So, sunlight does in fact change mead. And it turns out. For the better. For the better. <laughs> it, At least in this case. It literally made every aspect of the mead better. The mouthfeel, the sweetness, the flavor. Well, the flavor itself is relatively rich. And just that, just so you know, this is just a traditional. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a straight sweet mead.